But first, Robert, it's quiet tonight. Is it going to stay quiet heading into the weekend? Should stay mainly quiet as we head through the overnight hours. Tomorrow, though, breezes will be here along with some rather cold air. Live look outside on the Coronado.com Valley Sky Cam. Part of the Storm Team Sky Cam Network. Some mostly cloudy skies here into the Fargo-Moorhead area and temperatures. They're on the cold side, 24, feels more like 13, winds out of the north and northwest at 12 miles per hour, degree cooler across the river in Moorhead. Temperatures elsewhere are down to 10 up in the Langdon area, also 10 in Cavalier, 18 in Thief River Falls, 18 in Roseau, 22 Bemidji, 28 over in the Wadena area. Winds tonight are going to stay rather light, but tomorrow they're really going to pick up out of the north and northwest as we get a reinforcing shot of some cold air right now. Those winds generally around 5 to 15 miles per hour, and that's creating some wind chills as cold as 2 in Langdon, 3 in Hallock, 9 in Thiefer Falls, also 9 in the Valley City area. Cloud cover, quite a bit of it out there, except for the extreme northern portions of the valley. Some brighter white clouds off towards the west, and we'll show you what's under those clouds here in just a moment. Most of the area, quiet. Maybe a few isolated flakes in our extreme southern counties. Off to the west, this is a thunderstorm, actually with freezing rain, sleet, and bursts of heavy snow. That continues to slide off towards the east and southeast, making its way through Hebron right now. Don't think that will affect our area, but we'll keep an eye on that as we head through the next several hours. Off to the south, a little bit of snow changes to rain in the warmer air, particularly across Nebraska and Iowa. Tremendous snow is falling in parts of the Rocky Mountains. Snow falling at the rate of two to three inches an hour at some of the higher peaks there. Off towards the west, a little bit of rain and higher elevation snows and off towards the east some rain making its way through the Great Lakes for us. As we head through the overnight hours, we'll see some partly to mostly cloudy skies. Those clouds get on out of here for well, at least a little while. Then here comes the reinforcing shot of cooler air. Along with it, maybe a few flurries and snow showers. It's showing trends of being drier than it showed earlier this evening, but could see a few flakes as that moves on through. The bigger story will be the strong and gusty northwest winds, high temperatures only in the teens and the 20s. We're going to see wind chills for much of the day below zero in the Devil's Lake Basin. The rest of the region we will see wind chills in the single digits for much of the day. And temperatures start to drop on off quickly as we head into tomorrow evening. Here in Fargo, we'll start off the day with maybe a few flurries around. Temperatures into the upper teens. Not much of a warm up by lunchtime into the mid-20s. And that's about it for our high. We'll see temperatures steady to slowly falling in the afternoon. Mid-20s at 4 o'clock with sunny skies. But again, wind chills in the single digits. Picture of the day, turkey trot in Georgetown. Thanks so much to Donna for sending that in. We're going to use that as the backdrop to our seven day forecast. And again, breezy and cold Saturday, but a quick rebound on Sunday. Low 40s, near 50 on Monday. Chance for a wintry mix across the far north. Cold day Tuesday, less cold Wednesday. And right now Thanksgiving is looking pretty good. Yes, it is. And is it too early to tell if we're close to reaching those record-breaking temperatures at all for getting mm, in the highs? I don't think we'll see any record-breaking highs, but certainly well above normal for a few days. All right. Thanks, Robert. Mm -hmm.